Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In the previous video, we have learned about what is a karma and why we need to use the karma. So we have learned it. So if you try to open this one karma runner, so if you try to run this karma runner, here you will be able to see the website karma spectacular test runner for the JavaScript. So this is the thing. If you go to the introduction, first we need to install the karma. So what is the use of karma? Right now the project what we are having. So it heavily depends on the specrunner.html file. So whatever the new test files or new source files that has been introduced in our project. So we need to add it here at the bottom and also we need to add the spec file here bottom. So now as the test files and the source files are growing on. So we need to add the reference links here. So this could be a tedious job and also this file could increase thousands of lines. So now we need to let the project itself know that whenever a spec file as source file as newly added means we need uh, the project automatically has to run the test. So for that reason we use the karma as the test runner tool. If I try to open this karma is used to automatically detect the source files and automatically detect the test files and it will run the test automatically. Now in order to install this karma what are the things we need to do it. So first we need to have the node.js install in our system. So as you already know the node.js we have installed when we are trying to do the package.json. Afterwards what we need to do is we need to install karma hyphen hyphen save hyphen dev. So first install the karma npm install karma. Let's go here and I will try to open here reveal in file explorer. Let's open the command prompt. Okay so in the, sim the project simple calculator I am opening the command prompt here. So here First, what is the command I need to run? So, karma. So, let's install the karma and we need to install it as dev dependency as this one uh, is itself not related to the project. It's only for the development purpose, right? So, for that reason, we are installing it as a dev dependency. Let's try to install this one. So, it, it will take some time to install. And here, after installing the karma, why we are installing the karma? So, in order to automate the test run, test thing, so we are installing the karma. So karma fine. So we have installed the karma. It's okay fine. Now another thing what we need to do is the karma how we need to run the test. It need to run the test using the jasmine. So uh, now when we are going on so there will be no need no need of using the specrunner.html file. So for that reason what we need to do first we need to uh, next we need to install the jasmine. So how we can install the jasmine using the npm. So the command is if you try to open here you will be able to understand. So here you need to uh, install jasmine hyphen core. Okay, let's try to install the npm install jasmine hyphen core and space hyphen hyphen save hyphen dev. So I will use this command. So let's try to install. So jasmine core installs the jasmine that are useful for this one. So now we have installed the jasmine core also. So fine. Next what we need to install is. So these are all the things are related to the spec runner. There is no need for us. Now the thing what we need to install is we need to install another one is the karma hyphen jasmine. So we need to install karma hyphen jasmine. If you try to see here you will be giving is karma hyphen jasmine. So karma hyphen chrome hyphen launcher afterwards you will try to see. So another one is karma hyphen jasmine. So this is nothing but what I can say is this is a plugin. So which which integrates the jasmine with the karma. So let's try to install the karma hyphen jasmine. So this is the karma jasmine plugin. So now npm install karma hyphen jasmine hyphen hyphen save hyphen dev so this one oh sorry so spelling mistake so jasmine it should be he like this so now we have installed the karma hyphen jasmine also what are the plugins we have installed what are the software uh, packages we have installed so first we have installed the karma and afterwards we have installed the jasmine hyphen core and afterwards we have installed karma hyphen jasmine so karma is for test runner tool Jasmine core is for Jasmine and Karma Jasmine is nothing but the Jasmine the plugin which is in which integrates with the Karma. So that's it. So now we have installed the three things. Let's try to see. Let's try to start the Karma. So when you try to start the Karma the command we need to use is Karma start. So let's try to add this one in the package.json. So here let's go to the package.json and here I will be trying to add Karma start. Okay. So this is the command. So if I try to run this karma start, for example, if I try to use this karma start, okay, it will not work. Why? Because so karma, we need to install it as global dependency. So, but we haven't installed the karma as a global dependency, but we have installed it as only 
local dependency in the project itself so let's try to run so in order to run this command locally what we need to do is so something like we will be doing here they will be giving you node module something like no see go to the project node modules karma bin karma start like this they will be giving or otherwise what we can do is simply we can go to so if you try to copy this one and if you try to run maybe this one will work i think so if i try to let's try to copy okay and here let's try to paste it so if i try to do so uh, it's trying to run it so here there will be something like uh, path dependency but it will work here so but otherwise so what you can do is so the other thing is you can add it here in the scripts karma start so test karma starts now we can do the command like we can run the command npm run test so that it will try to run the karma start and this karma will be taken from the local node modules package instead of running like this so now what i can do here instead of doing this one npm run test i will try to do like this now it is trying to run the karma present in the local as a local dependency so if you have karma as a global dependency you can use this karma start karma start but we are not having as a local as a global dependency we are having only like this so let's try to run this one let's let's try to run see here it is trying to run this one simple karma karma start command is trying to run npm run test means it's elias elias command so it, uh, internally it will run karma start now here it it is told that karma was started and it is and it is starting in the uh, local host like this so uh, we already discussed it right karma is a test runner tool and it will uh, create as a web server so uh, small it will try to run the small web server where in that web server we will be able to open this local host and we will try to see all the test things that are getting executed now let's try to take this one and let's try to open it in the browser so here i am trying to open it in the local host like this now here you will be able to see that karma 6.3.16 it is connected but we are we are having error that karma error you need to include some adapters so you need to include some adapters means so it need require some configuration so this is a common error so now what we need to do is so everything is working so now karma is successfully installed in our system and also here the karma is also try to open, uh, try to run this one so now when we are trying to open it in the chrome so karma is getting connected but it is having some errors that it needs some configuration so what is that i need to do so what are the tests i need to run what is the source files i need to take so these are all the things we need to give it in the configuration so this is the problem that we are getting encountered as we are trying to run it in the chrome chrome browser so now what we need to do is so now in installation of karma is completed now we need to do the configuration for karma so that the karma while running it will read the configuration and it will do according to that one so we need to tell that run the test so taking jasmine as the uh, jasmine as the software and run the test like that we need to give the hints for the karma to do so in the next video what we will try to do is we will create a config karma.config.js file and we will try to give the configuration so that the test how the test will be run let's try to see it in the next video Hope you understood the about the installing the dependencies for making the for installing this karma. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.